Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Aloe. We're back with another banger, guys. Today, we're doing the new tier list, guys, for uh, Anime Fighters Passive. So, let's get it cracking, boys. Let's go right there. There we go. So, starting off, guys, we have the S tier all the way down to the F minus minus tier. So, uh, here we go, guys. So, first up, guys, S tier, we have the Blessing. This passive is pretty OP. It basically gives you the best of everything, like attack speed and damage. So, definitely a very, very good passive. Next up, guys, we have the Collector's Passives. So they're okay, but like, I'm gonna honestly, like, the only purpose of these is for getting more stuff in like time trials. And so for that reason alone, I'm gonna put the best one, which is this one right here. This one's gonna go here in the B tier, but the rest are actually gonna go in the F tier. Because it is so, you might as well just equip like a really, really weak unit with this passive on it. There's honestly no point in having these lower ones. Dumb passive again, guys. Very, very bad overall. Definitely a bad passive along with these three. I think they might have removed some of these, though, from the game. But uh, these three passive guys are literally straight, 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 straight dog water, man. Do not recommend those. All right, guys. Next up, we have Genius 1, which is a decent passive. I'm probably going to put it in F tier, though. Like, this is a passive that almost doesn't matter. I mean, 10% doesn't really help that much, especially with the um, Incubator being the new meta. So we're going to actually then put this guy in C tier. Honestly, this one isn't too bad because it's double as good as this one, but the Genius 3 passive, a lot of people love that one. So I'm going to put that one at the top of B tier because it's going to give you like a ton of extra EXP and it's really great for leveling up shinies and stuff. Next up, guys, we have the Tank passive. The Tank passive does crazy damage, but it makes your unit really slow. However, it does do the crazy damage, so we're going to have to put this A tier. And honestly, if you're attacking bosses and stuff, unit speed, like how they walk on the ground, really just doesn't matter that much. So for that reason, guys, we got to put Tank Passive in the A tier. Next up, guys, we got the Giant Passive. Same thing, but I think Tank Passive is actually going to give you a little bit more damage. But Tank is a little faster, and Tank has a lot of drip because it makes your unit giant. So we're going to put the Giant Passive there. Next up, guys, we have the Rich Passives. I'm going to put the, the Rich Passives aren't really that good. The only rich passive that's kind of good is the C tier one. And honestly, like, I can't really recommend you have a unit with this. But, I mean, if it is, if you do have rich three, that's not too bad. So basically what these do is it gives you a tiny, tiny buff to the yen that all of your fighters earn. However, it is really decent for time trial. So if you have the right units, if you have, depending on how you have your loadout set up, maybe you have like one or two super high damage DPS units. So maybe then this is for you. Did I not even add Ghostly to this one? Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to add Ghostly to this in a second. Yo, we forgot to add Ghostly, yo. Well, I thought I had Ghostly. Let me go find a picture of a ghost real quick. All right, here we go. Oh, that's kind of sus. All right, here we go, perfect. Oh, we can just do this. Oh, that's kind of sus too. Let's find one that's not as sus. Um, oh, here we go, here's a good one. Uh, let me go add this ghost one real quick. I forgot it. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna be in the comments. Where's the ghostly one? Bro, I'll add it right now just for you, dude. Bro, what the heck? Oh my gosh, did we just get banned from this website? Yo, what the frick? Yo, what is going on? Yo, what is going on, man? All uh, right, let's go add it back in here. Sorry. Sorry about the wait for a second here. I uh, mean, we, we don't want to add ghost. We need to add ghostly before somebody gets mad. All right, here we go. Perfect, we got Ghost now. All right, Ghostly, guys, is going to go in, like, low S tier. The nice thing about Ghostly is it makes your passives hit a lot faster, and it, gives, it does a lot more damage because your actual unit attack speed is faster. So what it does is every time your character punches with Ghost, it actually does that faster, and also it basically makes the units, like, teleport. So it's really nice for time trial because your units are basically, like, teleporting all over the map. So if you get any of these S tier ones, definitely, like, don't respin. Now we have the gold. Gold is S tier as well. It's, like... It's like Rich 3, but better, and it gives a damage boost. Now, they did nerf some of these passives, so I think it actually might end up like this. But, yeah, so Gold is a really, really good passive, guys. Highly recommend it, especially if you're trying to run time trials. One of my crafted got it, so that's I have my crafted with this solid gold. And, of course, it does give a massive damage boost as well. Way bigger than everything below it. Next up, guys, we have Speedy. I'm going to put Speedy here in the F- minus tier because I kind of would rather have everything else besides it. Basically, what it does is it makes your unit uh, move really, really fast. It, it's just not that worth it. 
Next up, guys, we have the attack ones. I'm going to put the attack one probably right about here. This is actually really useful because of the new, uh, the new, um, incubator meta. So we're going to have to put tactical two, one there. We're going to put tactical two probably at the top of this. Honestly, if you have tactical two, it's kind of, sometimes it's not even worth risking to respin. It's like actually a pretty decent, uh, well, this isn't even tactical, I mean, I'm um, uh, a strong two. It's actually a pretty decent one. And then the strong three, we're going to put our right here as well, guys. So strong three, definitely a really good passive. All right, next up, guys, we have the tactical passives. Now, what these do, guys, is only on bosses. Only on bosses, but they do a ton, a ton more damage. So, like, this is, like, 25% boss boost. This is going to be, like, and it goes up. So 25% boss boost, honestly, I'd say that's better than, uh, uh, better than tactical, this, like, the strong one. Like, this is actually a pretty big boost, because most of the time you are farming bosses, or most of the time the highest HP person in the room is going to be a boss. So tactical is really good. And of course, guys, tactical two is probably going to go up here. I'd still rather go with the giant or the tank over tactical two, but tactical three, guys, that is going to be an S tier passive. Like, honestly, it might even be the best passive. Like, I'm going to put it right here in the middle. I think it, it's pro it might be the best, guys might be the best passive in the game because it's going to be doing double damage to bosses which is op freaking busted dude especially especially with the new incubator meta next up guys we have tiny i think tiny is really bad as well i'm gonna put it in the f minus like honestly like these tier like these two you shouldn't even get at all and now guys we're going to the new op passes boys yo these passes are straight crazy straight dummy bro oh my gosh Starting off, guys, with Sorcerer 1. What this is going to do, guys, is this is going to remove one hit from the time it takes to charge your ultimate. So, basically, if you have a unit that doesn't need a whole lot of hits for the ultimate, you're going to basically be doing ultimate the whole time. It is crazy. So, for that reason, we're going to actually put it right around... Uh... Honestly, I'd probably say this is B tier right here. Like, this is an OP passive, guys. Really, really straight cracked. Now, this one right here, guys, Sorcerer 2, I'm going to put this one in the high A tier. This is going to basically allow you to do your passive almost whenever you want. I know a lot of units, because this removes two per ultimate charge. I know some units where this basically makes your uh, ultimate instant, like, legit. Because any any unit that has a three, uh, a three um, hit ultimate or less, it's going to instantly hit. So definitely recommend this one right here. Like, it is crazy, crazy, crazy OP. And lastly, guys... We have the newest Sorcerer. This is going to basically allow you to do instant ultimates every time. I don't think it's quite as good as Tactical. However, I do think it is a pretty good passive. So I'm going to put it in the bottom of S tier, guys. So there you go, man. There is the passive tier list. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, if you think I misranked any of these. And I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Bland Spot out, yo. Peace.